with the leadership tonight. Welcome, 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 welcome. I'd like to give a shout out to folks on it. I know some of you are trying to figure out what that song was. Anybody think they know what the name of the song was? What was it, Miss Joyce Brewer? I see you raise your hand. Huh? I think I read your lips say, don't stop the party. Yeah, we wanted to do the clean version. We just want the instrumental, the it's the instrumental, the instrumental, because some people find the, uh, the, the words to the song a little offensive. Not who we are in AC and we got to keep it clean. It's a family show. <laughs> so there's a couple songs we, we love to play, but we have to find the clean ones or, the, or if we can't find the clean version, we do the instrumental. So can we give Mr. Bree Clements a hand for finding that? The, uh, the the clean, the this the instrumental of that, uh, even though it gets the, 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 the don't stop the party. There you go. We're, we're not going to stop it. We're going to continue it. First of all, Miss Joyce Brewer, thank you so much for the call. Miss Diane Collins out there. I, I haven't seen you yet, but I know you're out there. Let me let me let me go through here and see her personally because I know she's she's out there with a big there she is with a big smile on her face. Thank you. God bless you so much, Miss Kathleen uh, Williams. Thank you so much. Sensational. Thank you, dear. I see you with those beautiful glasses on. Oh my Lord, look at those glasses, hallelujah. Mr. Chris McDowell, thank you so much. Mr. Julian Lewis, regional director, what a great job you did on the panel last night with great insights. And like I say, the Friday night's happy hour, I'm gonna turn those more to you leaders to, to kind of help out with. Hey, uh, Miss Konohara in Japan, good evening, good evening, good evening. Mr. Payon on Japan, good evening. Golly, I love it, look at that. Mr. Daryl Ranson in Nashville, thank you so much. Ms. Caroline Baker, thank you so much. David Wright, thank you so much. Celia Woodside, thank you for being on here. Kaz, out in Australia, thank you. Oh, she's out, she's another Aussie. Love it, all these Aussies on here. Marie, thank you so much for joining. Miss Ingram, where is she at? I saw her last, she did a great comment last night and she was on the call. Where is she at? There she is, God bless you, good, good evening. Thank you so much. What time is there in Australia? You got your 11? I see Kaz, okay, 11, all right, great. God bless you, thank you so much. Mr. Freddie uh, Sherman, thank you so much. Rose and Chris Guerrero have uh, just joined the call. Thank you so much, regional directors out there in Fresno. Abs, there he is over there in Australia. He's the only bloat on the call today from Australia. Hey, hey my friend, we gotta get some more bloats on here. We can't, we just can't have the women just taking over like that. <laughs> okay, Christina, thank you so much for joining. Uh, Marcia Carter, thank you, dear. TJ in Ohio, God bless you. Mr. Lance Kelly, what a great young man. He got a couple brand new IBOs in. I know he's getting qualified. Miss Eileen, I see you down there in, da down in San Diego, very quiet as you are. Miss Walker, God bless you. Thank you for joining. And Miss uh, Melissa Vaughn, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Hey, folks, I want to thank you all, but I want to uh, go and have Mr. Bree Clements going to bring up the people that we want to highlight from last night. I think I'm going to start doing this on Saturday leadership as well, highlighting those people that got promoted. Just to let you know, if you don't have anybody on this list, you should be able to work towards that and maybe text myself or Mr. Bree Clements with anybody who had brand new IBOs and bonuses. Now, let me tell you why we do this. It's so important with recognition. Since we don't have our weeklies, the greatest thing I can think of is Friday uh, uh, happy hour and Saturday leadership to recognize people that got new IBOs or bonuses. I don't care what part of the world you're in. I don't care whose team you're on. We still want to recognize and then also get them on here on Friday night so they can say a word or two. Do you know what that does for your team when they hear they're going to be featured on Friday night happy hour? Have you noticed people get excited about getting on here? Have you noticed that? So guess what? Throughout the week, if we promote this, this is called, this is leadership tonight. If we could promote, hey, listen, we got to get you an assistant, get you qualified. We want to highlight you on Friday night and Saturday. What? What? Well, really? You'd be surprised. You'd be, let me see if Mr. Chocolate's on here. Hold on. Let me see if he's on here. When I told him, uh, we're going to, hey, we're going to have you say a few words and highlight you. You know what? People get so excited. Mr. Lance Winberg had a couple people, the same thing. They get so excited when they know they're going to be featured on Friday night happy hour and say a few words. Oh, my God. <laughs> You'd be surprised what happens for people. They get recognized. Let me tell you a quick story. I may have shared this with you before. I don't think I shared it on leadership, but I have shared the story before. I remember in my first network marketing company, there's a guy in uh, Portland, Oregon got recognized and he was a bus driver, big tall, tall black guy, about six, four, big guy. 
and he drove buses for the city of uh, Portland, Oregon. It was Portland, Oregon for 25 years and never got recognized. And I never forget when I went to Portland, when my first MLM company, and we promoted him to his first position. He came up and I pinned him on stage and this big six foot four guy, he was a bus driver. He started bawling. I mean, he, his eyes welped up and he started bawling. And I, and I, and I passed him the mic. I say, how you, how, how, man, your first promotion. He goes, you don't understand, Mr. Thomas. This is the first promotion I got in 25 years, even working as a bus driver. And I never got recognized for helping the kid. I never got recognized. And tonight, you did something that I've always waiting for, somebody to give me some recognition. And he was bawling. I was crying. I looked out the audience crying. Everybody, we all was, who you we all, why? Because when you pierce somebody's heart with recognition, listen up, it goes a long way. By being a blessing when people, I mean, be a blessing to people. And right now, especially in today's climate, man, people are so much fearful, fear, fear, fear. And that's exactly where they want you with the media, with this fear crap. So we got a bit what I call good news merchants. What's that, Mr. Thomas? Good news? Yeah. Well, see, don't you realize negative news sell quicker? That's why the newspapers sell negative, negative, negative. Then we go home, put 35 locks on our doors and go, whoo, I made it through the day. Nothing happened to me. No, it already happened to you because you allowed that to happen. Why do you got 35 locks? What's wrong with one? And also getting a little vivid. <laughs> commercial, commercial. Um, <laughs> so you have to understand. Recognize people for, the, for every single thing as much as you can. Every single thing as much as you can. Everything. And when, that, when he did that, man, that taught me that. I'm, I'm going to, I'm, man, I'm, 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 I'm every little thing I'm, I'm promoting. Every little thing. Because people go home from work. They go to bars because they don't want to go home. They don't get any love there, no recognition on the job at home or work. So our job is to be a good news merchant. So in this leadership tonight, you got to learn how to love on people. Write that down. Learn how to what, Mr. Thomas? Love on people. Write that down. To what? Love on them. Love on them. Love on them. There's a little black book that says, with love and kindness have I drawn thee. So let's love on people. Love on your organization. I'm always loving on my organization. I'm loving on them. If you ever see me at meetings, I'm always hugging people. When I see people in wheelchairs, I go give them a hug. When I see people, no matter what, I make them feel special. Make people feel special. Watch the blessings come back to you. So that was our list of people that's still up on the board. So next week, I want you guys to have your new IBOs, even if they got promoted, customer bonuses. You know, uh, let's have three or four or five pages of this on here. Hopefully Friday night, it consists of 10 or 15 minutes of this recognition, recognition, recognition. All right, speaking of recognition, today was ACN's first uh, ETL training today. As you know, they sent all the ETLs, the information to get plugged into the training. I don't know if any of you ladies and gentlemen got on there, but uh, I heard it was fantastic. They wouldn't let me on, but I, I heard it was fantastic. Does anybody want to share what they got out of the training today? This is leadership. This is leadership tonight. All right, nobody want to share. Okay, now. Since nobody want to share. Okay, TJ. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, we can hear you. Great. Mr. Thomas, what I got out of it was something prior to your call Friday, and you, you ham, hammered on it Friday, and someone else did earlier in the week. It was about vision. Vision, 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 vision. And um, one of the biggest things for me was when uh, Mr. Kupas talked about getting from you try to get to success and you think it's going to be a straight line it's not going to be a straight line there will be detours when they were building the business and they went from somewhere south i want to say louisiana or somewhere down there trying to get over california and there were i think the mississippi had flooded the area those are detours along the way of going to be successful and so he talked when he talked about that and i combined that with vision and what are you thinking about over the next five years of course we have our 90-day emergency but they're, they were looking at things in the future. We're not stuck on the present. They're not stuck on the past. That really just helped me uh, crystallize what it is I want to have happen for myself and for my family and team. Thank you right, so much for right. out. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank, you, Thank you, TJ. TJ. I know how. Who else want to share what they got out of the ETL training today from corporate? All right. Now. Huh? Mr. Thomas? Yes. 
Okay, this is this is Joyce Brewer. Um, yes, dear. There was, I mean, there was a lot, 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 lot of energy going on from from everybody on the call, and um, one of the final things, or yeah, one of the final things that um, Mr. P Provenzano was saying was um, like to make the decision, and there was like start power and stay power where a lot of new people come on and they, they, you know, they get that energy and power to get started, but somewhere along the line, they kind of lose confidence or whatever, and they don't stay. But to develop that staying power and follow through and declare a minimum of, of a five-year commitment, make, make that beginning commitment for at least five years. You know, it, you may reach your your peak before then, but at least, you know, have that, have that on, on, on the charts and to make um, ACN a priority and figure out your way. Because, you know, the way that one person presents the business may not be the way that works best for you. Follow the script, of course, but make it your own, you know, yeah. be authentic. You know, if be real. if I can get everybody just to read the script, as simple mm -hmm. as that is, there's still people I had to call somebody the other day and says, you know, they got to the, you know, showing 4%. You didn't go into the details. How does that work? You know, and show the fingers, show people, you know, it's, it's, you know, and, and, and it's just so simple to do, but we still get hung up in trying to do it and not learn how to do it right. Cause like I got called on it. When I talk about three services in your first 30 days, and now I never forget that. You know why? Cause Mr. Greg Carl Pamazano called me out in San Diego. Mr. Julian Lewis was in the audience that day. Backstage, after we got finished, I went backstage. He says, you forgot to say three services. Watch this. He, he says, in their first 30 days. Mm -hmm. And I never forget that. So that's why I'm a stickler about when I give you to you guys to say that. Because if he called me on it, he's going to call you on it. So let's make sure we have it right. I got it corrected. You know, and you get your five services within your first 30 days, then you get 200. And then if you get what? It says two more additional service, three more additional service, $200 more. So now you get up to eight services within your first 30. You got to keep repeating that. Don't say eight services, you get, you know, $400. Nope. It's in their first 30. You got to, you got to, it's got to go say it. You get 11 services in their first 30 days to get this. And that's what's so important is mm -hmm. how to explain it and just read it. You don't have to whiz through it. Just read it. And a matter of fact, tonight, and I did not even know this, but tonight, when I get finished with you tonight, we're going to talk about exactly what you just got finished in. Look, look how blessing this is. You said stay in power, starting power and stay in power. I'm going to give you four things tonight. We're going to have, I mean, just four simple things that's going to really blow your business away. Four simple things. And everything is really simple. Life is simple. We complicate it. Mm -hmm. How many times have you heard somebody break a fingernail by the time I get around town, they broke the whole arm out their socket? Because <laughs> people can't keep it simple. They got to keep adding on to what's, what's no, it's, it's as simple as our program is, we, we want to keep adding stuff on. You know, people say, and then get to that one about go left to right. No, no, no. ETL, first three services in your first 30 days ETL. Um, our, uh, you know, I mean, you're custom qualified. ETL is 30 services with, you know, with you and your team. Now you get a $50 bonus per person. Here again, per person that does this with three services in their first. And man, it's so, we, we, we just, we just got to just slow it down and read it and watch your success go to the roof. I love it. Mr. Who Thomas. Who want to share? Mr. Thomas. Mr. Thomas. Thomas. Australia. Uh-huh. Um, Mr. Uh, Tony Cooper said you must have the right energy, vision, oh. belief, excitement, and confidence. And always re-recruit yourself in your business. People are attracted to strength and confidence. And you must always act as though you are ready, you are already a SVP. Choose to follow through to till you succeed. Amen. Thank you. And it goes back, Miss Joyce. Notice you even said energy. I want some of y'all on the call to bring your energy up. You guys sound like you're, you're just dead. It ain't been buried yet. So <laughs> bring your energy up. 
or this, I'm very excited. Well, your face doesn't sound like your mouth it doesn't look excited. Get excited. You have never seen Al Thomas do a dry one, two, boring talk. No. So if I don't do it, why should you? Bring your energy level up. Bring the energy level up. Perfect. Who else want to share? Thank you, Ms. Collins. I'm not Australia. Mr. Thomas, Tim Kennard, Minnesota. Yes, sir. Mr. Uh, Tony Coop has said there's two types of people that are involved in ACN, participants and leaders, and you need both. And I realized that I was trying to force everybody to be a leader. And he's talking about how if you for try to force somebody, it doesn't work. And just be grateful they're a participant and just build with them as far as they're willing to go as long as they keep building. Wow, that was very powerful. You said something that's very powerful. We want to make everybody a leader when they're, some of them are just going to be participants. Some of them are going to be just a $199 phone customer. Some of them are just be a $199 customer. They'll get in, sign up, and won't do jack. Keep on moving. Here's what happens when that happens. This is leadership. Get them qualified and keep on going. Uh, one of my new IBOs got his first IBO in. The guy his, was excited, and somebody stole his dream. So I told Mr. Uh, Moran, I said, get him qualified. Drop him like it's hot. Move on to the next person. Get qualified. Look, I've always said this. Write this down. Every time you sit down with somebody, number one, the ultimate is get them as an IBO. Number two, get them as a customer. And number three, get a referral. Why? I'm a firm believer you got to get paid for your time. Whenever I sit down with somebody or do a Zoom call, I got to get something. Out. You look, look at it this way. Miss Caroline Baker, you got to get something out of the deal. If you're going to be an IBO, uh-huh, you're going to be a customer, or you're going to give me somebody. <laughs> you're going to give me somebody, Marita, that, that want to do something. Come on. You got to give me somebody because everybody can't be like you. Somebody, somebody hate their job. Somebody hate where they live. Somebody want to change their zip code, change their vehicle. Watch this. Have you noticed all the brand new cars, new people, every city, every state? Have you noticed people out buying cars? Watch this. Nobody sold them. They told me, hey, interest rates are down. They just went out and got them. So what am I saying? You can get people. You got to get paid for your time. You got to get paid for your time. Thank you so much. That was a great point. Very good point, Mr. Tim Corrad up there in Minnesota. You know, participants or leaders. And everybody on it. You know, ever notice Friday night we have a nice crowd and on Saturday leadership, the numbers dwindle? Because you know why? It's the real leaders that get on here. Because you want to be making that kind of income. And that's why I applaud people on Saturday. And that's why I take a little more time and go into detail and just have a conversation. Because Friday night leadership to me is one of the most important elements of the whole weekend is what do I need to do to advance my business onward, upward? And I thank God that ACN came with their first ETL training. Who else want to share what they got on training? Mr. Thank Thomas? you, Mr. Tim Garrett. Mr. Thomas? Yes. So one thing that um, they went over in the ETL call was how to present the business. So Excuse me, is this Ms. Ismail on the ETL call today? Was this Ms. Ismail? Am I hearing from an RD yeah. on the ETL call? You have right another one from? too, sir. I was on there too. I mean, we're we're I learners. Too. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I just want to see what the rest of the group were gonna say. Of Go ahead. That, see, I had to see, I had to get the energy up. I had to I want to see who who like, hey, I was on there too. That's what I wanted to hear. There was a I'll message of my CQ, madness. Go ahead, dear. I would try I would try to get on the SVP ones if I could, but anyway. Um, so they were talking about, we're not allowed to make income claims. So talk about how much money we can make a month or how much we make a month. Um, no lifestyle claims, luxury items, cars, houses, things like that. And the biggest one was no hypotheticals. Um, so, and explaining how IBOs can earn bonuses and commissions only when customers are acquired. So the hypothetical is meaning how we say, so when 10 people join your team, how much money would that be? And we say the amount. So he gave here's those what I want you. Here's what I want you to focus in on is the first 30 days. Mm, just focus on what first. they can do with, the, with the, you know, those, those customers. Cause I go back to a great promise. I don't hit me up with those first 30 days, three services with first, first 30 days, $75, five, you know, up to five, 200, you know, just like it says on the chart there. I understand what you're saying. But it's so important. We got it. We definitely got to stay those first thirty days. 
And he did, he did explain exactly what you said, Mr. Thomas, right now, like what you just said, Dave Merriman said, you can, you can break it down because it's on there. You can show those numbers because those numbers are actually on there in the first 30 days. Um, the one thing I got that's major and, and I, I wanted to share, this is Julian Lewis. And yes, I was on the ETL call too. <laughs> and and here, here's what they said. Uh, for the people that are wondering, I've, I've, saw, I've, I've seen the recruiting question all the time, or how do you do this? How do you do that? And Mr. Mr. Cooper said, simple as this, ask for a favor and ask for an opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he, he broke it down so simple. And he said, uh, if, you're, if you're inviting someone, hey, um, I, I just want your opinion on it. If they ask you what it is, then you can say, listen, um, if you're new, you can say, I'm new. Just do me a favor jump on with me so that you can give me your opinion. Or if you've been in for a while, he said, just tweak it and say, you know, I've been doing this for a while, but I've been doing it. Um, I haven't really put both feet in. I'm putting both feet in now. Can I have your opinion? Well, what's it about? Well, just do me a favor and jump on. And how doing a favor elevates the person instead of lowering you. And, 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 and that was powerful. And it makes it simple where anyone can recruit because anyone can have that conversation. You know, I, I thank you for that, Mr. Lewis. And that's so true. It, see, our whole thing is simple. You know, what is it about? What, hey, Billy, didn't you say you hate your job? Jump on there and tell me. Give me an opinion. We'll talk afterwards. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, Susie, didn't you see any legal extra money? Hey, jump on there and tell me. Give me your opinion afterward. It's just, and, and I think a lot of times, less is better. And too many times, we want to just keep talking and talking and trying to talk them into it. Be quiet. Keep it simple. Thank you, Mr. Lewis. You guys see why he's a regional, a regional director on the way to RVP. Who else want to share? All right. What we're going to go into at this point, uh, we're going to show you how to go through a storm and come out the other side of a storm. And then after we talk about the storm, I'm going to talk about how to build a strong, solid organization. And it goes, it's going to go back to that starting power and staying power. I tell you, what this is, this plays right in what I was going to talk about tonight. The starting power and staying power they talked about today. But I want to show you this video. I want to show you this video. And we're going to show you how to come out on the other side of, of a storm. How to come out on the other side of becoming an RD or RVP. We want to share something with you. Then we're going to go into... After we show this video, we're going to talk about how to build a strong, solid organization. And it's only four steps I'm going to talk about tonight. Here we go. I want to tell y'all a story before I wrap this up. It's a story about a father and a daughter. They were coming home from a revival one night and the father let the daughter drive home. She was his assistant, if you will. And while she was driving home, a bad storm broke out. And the daughter being a new driver, she got a little bit scared. She looked over at her father and she said, Daddy, you think I should pull over? And the father said, no, no, baby. Just keep on driving. So she kept on driving. But then the storm, it got worse. She looked over at her father, she was scared. She said, Daddy, are you sure? You sure you don't want me to pull over? The daddy said, no, no, baby. Just keep on driving. But the storm, it got so bad that the daughter could barely see an inch in front of her face. Other cars started pulling over in the storm. Even 18 wheelers started pulling over in the storm. She looked over at her dad and she was in fear and said, just keep on driving. And then eventually they made it through the storm. And the daddy said, okay, baby, now pull over. So she pulls over the car. She has a grin on her face and she looks at her dad and says, okay, daddy, I know why you wanted me to pull over now. He said, why is that, baby? She said, you want me to thank God for bringing us through the storm. She smiled back and said, yeah, baby, that's it. But there's another lesson that you got to learn here. He said, I don't understand. He said, get out of the car. I'll show you. So they get out of the car. He says, turn around and look back. 
tell me what you see. She said, I see the storm. He said, no, 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 baby, that's not all you see. Tell me what else you see. She said, I don't get it, daddy. He said, baby, where are all of the cars that pulled over in the storm? Where's the 18 wheeler that pulled over in the storm? She said, they're still in the storm. He said, that's it, baby. That's the lesson that I want you to learn. You see, when you pull over, you make the storm last longer. But if you just keep on going and keep moving ahead and keep believing that it's possible and keep your hope and keep your faith, then you will make it through your storm. Thank you, that's my time. Powerful message, powerful message, powerful message. A lot of you are in a storm because you're stuck in the same position for so long and you're in the storm. Some of you pulled over and you're complaining, I'm still in the storm. I can't, I, I, I've been in this position. I, I, I'm a few points, I, 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 no. Today, you could get out of the storm. Now, I'm gonna give you uh, here's how you can build a solid, strong organization. I know that that video that video was very powerful. And what I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you my thing that helped me become a goat. And I want every one of you to become a goat. You see a goat, a goat, G O T E. What's a goat? Greatest of all times. Muhammad Ali was a goat. He was the greatest of all time. Michael Jordan was a GOAT. He was the greatest of all time. I consider myself a GOAT because I've been in it for 27 years. I've done some great things, and now I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to pass the baton to you to give you four things today that's going to help you build your business to get you out of the storm, to get you out of the storm, to get you out of the storm, to get you out of the storm. Number one, things to do to keep you, your new IBOs connected. The first thing you gotta do, hold on a second, Mr. Bree Clement. Things to do to keep your new IBOs connected and out of the storm. This is only four little simple steps. Four simple steps and then I'm done tonight. See, making money has always been simple. We complicated. Your first storm is you go back through the one through 10 tonight and you read it, read it, just read it. Don't ad lib it, just read it. When you have the stripes, then you can ad lib, but until then, just get good at reading it. Some of you wait for the calls, I got you. We love you for the calls, but you need to learn how to read it. That will keep you out of the storm and get you through the storm. The first thing you need to do, here we go. To keep your new IBOs connected, here's what you here's what most people drop the ball at. The first thing is to text me the names and phone numbers. There it is. Text me or your upline RVP RD their name and phone number. It is so important that they know there's more than just you. Do you realize I've been sending the same text message out for 150,000 years? Hi, my name is Al Thomas. I'm part of your plan. You guys know what I'm talking about. I tell them the information about how to stay plugged in. See, when a new person gets involved, all they see is you. They'll feel more excited when they know there's two or three other people helping them that's in their best interest. Some of you, I got to keep pounding upside your head. Text me the name and number of your new IBOs. And then I usually like to call them. Hey, congratulations. How does that make them feel when I call them? to welcome them to the best team on earth. Do you think they feel inspired by you? Do you think they, they thank God they made the right decision? See, these are the things that keep people in the game early on. These are things that keep people in the game. And some of you are just so excited you finally got an IBO, but you're not doing nothing with it. You let them drop through the cracks of the crevices. I've got a gentleman in South Carolina. He always bring people in, never gets them qualified. I, he got a lady, I said, look, man, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. 
call me every time because I, I got to get him plugged in because he does, he kills them. There's so many people that are killing good people that could build a strong organization in your team. So the things to do to keep your new IBO connected, text me their name and phone number. And I'll put a call into them, welcome them to the team. I'll send them out my, my welcome them text message. I'm the only SVP that does that. You know why? I've gone through the storm for 27 years and made it to the other side because of simple things that I do. There's only four simple things I'm going to give you tonight. That's not that difficult, and everybody can do it. Number two, get them qualified on the spot on the first 24 hours. Some of you on my team, you've heard me say this for the last six, seven, eight years, four years, however long you've been around me. I've said that Al Thomas have not changed. You go on YouTube and see some of my old videos way back when. Same conversation. I have not changed. Principles don't change. Wealth don't change. Success leaves clue. It doesn't change. Number two, get them qualified on the spot or the first 24 hours them in the business. The longer you let them not get qualified, the more longer they get discouraged. The more their negative friends talk to them, the wife talk to them, the kids talk to them. Oh my God, we're sending for Washington. You send money on that. Oh my God. Yeah. So get them, get them some success immediately. 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 Get them qualified on the spot. Hey, Billy, you got another hour, 30 minutes? Good. Let's get some points in the system. Let's get a check heading to your, to your bank account before you leave me today. I know you just signed up 10 minutes ago, but let's get a bank account heading toward your bank, to your, to your checking account within the next couple of day, uh, next hour or two. Let's get them started. And that's a big thing we don't do. We're just so happy we got 195. Ah, ooh, you thought you hit the lottery. No, that's the first step. Now your job is to commit back to them. Now they don't know what to do to get qualified, but you do because you're the expert. So get them qualified on the spot or in the first 24 hours. Mr. Uh, pa uh, uh, Pastor uh, Thomas is on the line. Lady got in, we got her qualified for 10 points. You see, uh, the whole idea is getting people real fast, success fast. When do you want to get paid, now or later? Don't say later. Everybody wants to get paid now. So then get them qualified when? Now. Now. Get them qualified now. I remember Mr. Chris King and Rose Guerrero got and Mr. Ed uh, Navarro in the business. He got a guy named Brian in who has a cell phone store in, in, in uh, Fresno. They went out, and I think they got 24 points on for the guy the first day. Why? Because they know what to do. And every time Mr. Brian gets somebody in, guess what? They get qualified on the spot. He doesn't let them leave his store. So that's the beauty of this. Get them qualified on the spot or first 24 hours, Miss Carter. You know what I'm talking about. That's so powerful. Nothing else matters. Sometimes I'll have people say, Miss Thomas, I'm going to miss the call. I got to get somebody qualified. Hey, take it. What am I going to say? Take care of your business. Always get them qualified. That's more, that's top priority right there. Get them qualified. You can miss a call for that. Hey, I, Miss Evelyn the other day. Hey, I can't be on a leadership call because I got this. Hey, that's fine. Get them, get, get, get them points in. Absolutely. Absolutely. So number one, text me or your upline or Mr. You know, their name and phone number. So I can send them out my welcome, my welcome text. I send out text every morning, as you know. And that's what keeps people connected. Think about it. When I send out a text to every one of you in the morning, how do y'all feel? Connected. You feel connected. Oh, I can't wait to see what this text says today. I can't see what positive comes out of this today. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Because see, most of your day, 99.9% .9 of your day is around negative stuff. Every email you get, some of you on Facebook, some of you on that. Oh, just, I don't get it. So you need something positive. And don't you get your new IBO needs something positive? What are you putting out positive for your team to stay connected? Ask yourself that question. And I'm not getting these messages. I'm not putting them down. I know for a fact Mr. King will post up on seven figures my, my messages I send every morning. Why? Because he wants everybody to see it. So be that conduit for your organization to keep connected. Number three, put them in front of all the events. 
capital letters, all of the events and ACN corporate events. Today was a corporate event with ACN. Everybody should have been on there. Keep your new people and everybody, put them in front of all the events. What is our event schedule? You know what our event schedule look like? We put it up on every time we get on the call, we see the event. You know, every every more every month we have a new uh, flyer, but it's the same dates. Guys, there's a this this is simple stuff. Send it out to all your new IBOs. I send it out every morning. Every okay, for example, this month of, of September, Monday morning, Miss Miss Ismail. Tuesday morning is for the whole month, every Monday. Tuesday is Mr. Julian Lewis. Every Tuesday this month. Now watch this. Every Monday, guess what I send out to everybody on my list? Every Monday, what, 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 what do I send out? Can anybody take a guess how difficult this is to get? Who do I send out? I send out her flyer. Every Tuesday morning, whose flyer do I send out? Mr. Lewis's. This is the reason why we make them. If they're going to participate for a whole month, we want a flyer of them. Next month, Mondays is back. Let's go back to last month. Who was on last month? Every Monday was Miss Giles and Dristel. Did we not have a fly for her? Yes, every Monday you got it. Who was on Thursday? Mr. Dean Torelli. Every Thursday I sent out the flies. Come on, this is not rocket. See how simple this stuff is? Mr. Mr. Nelson was on Friday. Guess what I did on Friday? Before the call, sent out Mr. Nelson's on Friday. God, this is not difficult. It's a real simple, systematic way of keeping people connected on your team. And you wonder why people drop out because you're not the upline that's worthy, listen up, of knowing how to simple little step to connect everybody on your organization. So put them in front of all the events. Mr. Ron Chocolate got in. He was on the call the same day. He said, I'm going to sign up on September the 2nd. Sign him up, put him on the call that day. He was on the call last night. Hey, we're promoting you with 10 points. He went out and got his first 10 points in the first day and a half. Put him on the call. Like, hey, we're going to be featuring you on the call on Friday night. He was on there last night. 10 points. Yay. How do you think that made him feel? Well, you know, the whole idea is promote the call. If you told somebody, whoever texted me that, if you told somebody we're going to highlight you on Friday happy hour, you think they get on there? Absolutely. When I told Pastor Collins, we're going to have her say a few words, she was jacked up sideways. Watch this. Not only did Pastor Collins get on Friday last yesterday, her sponsor, Mr. Thomas, he's on the call right now, and the upline, Sam Foster, got on there as well. So not only was she on there, but she had two of her uplines on there. Because why? I'm highlighting her. You see, you guys, this is not that difficult. It's making people feel special. And this is how you come through the storm on the other side. Love on people. So put them in front of all the events. You know, we had a flyer. We talked about uh, uh, this coming Saturday, about the corporate event. We talked about, you know, events every week. Monday, I'm always talking about Monday. What I talked about last on happy hour, Monday. I had a teacup. Remember my teacup? Here's my teacup. Talking about the events. People, what happened? To, what was everybody got a teacup? The ones that were on here to miss the teacup, now they're wondering what they missed out on. Oh, man, I got to plug in to Al Thomas's call. We got to plug in all the calls. Then I talked about Tuesday. What was Tuesday? Consistency with Mr. Lewis. What was Wednesday? I showed it last night. Wednesday was what? We have Vivid on here. Thursday was what? Mr. Williams. Talking about, uh, uh, um, 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 oh gosh, um, trusted advisors. So what's your note saying? And then Friday, what was Friday? Huh? Say it again, Ms. Joyce. Michael Crowder. Michael Crowder. You see, that's how you build the events. And here's another thing you need to do. I understand, everybody, some pe people in your team's got to work. But are you texting your new people, hey, did you go back to the, to the uh, Dynasty International and look at today's? It was great. Here's what, Mr. Here's what I've had Mr. Uh, uh, Bree Clemens done for some, Mr. Mr. Uh, Crowder wanted a copy of the video. He sent it to me, I sent it to him. Then I took the video and I sent out to three or four more other people. Are you instructing your people who has to go to work, hey, did you go back and look at it? Hey, did you see it? 
Matter of fact, why don't you guys go to the channel, download it, and send it to people in your downline that couldn't be on there to listen. You know, I've done that to Mr. Johnny Moran, who's not on here. His new IBO, I've done it to. I've done it to another guy, another IBO, Mr. Mondo Brown. I'm, I, all the brand new people, guess what I'm doing? I'm sending them out because they got to be at work. See, look, it doesn't, there's it. There's, there's a website. There it is right there. It doesn't take a lot to keep your people in the loop. But once they get in the loop, they get disconnected because you're not keeping them connected. So what if you went on Destiny International, downloaded it all this week, and sent it every night to all your new people? Feed, hand feed them. Do you think that will help them? I've had people look, call me and say, man, I didn't get mine today. I'm looking forward to it. What happened? Oh, really? I feel like Scooby-Doo. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But you're not doing these simple. These are simple steps. And it takes less than four to five minutes a day. It doesn't take much to build a big organization. How's Al Thomas been on top of two network marketing companies? By doing the simple things. Simple, simple, simple. Every IB on his call that's been on in the last 60 days know what had got a text from me. Welcome to the team. Every IBO should do this to get somebody on the business, get them qualified. Mr. Lance got his two new IBOs on. I got a conference call with him. I did a one, I did a talk with him. I sent him out the welcome text. Then I sent Mr. Lance, he's a no semi. I sent him the schedule for the month of September. He forwarded his new two I, new IBOs. You know, put them in front of all information. They were on the call last night to get promoted. One of them had to get off. But see, that's what I'm talking about, folks. This is not, this is, okay, real simple steps. All right. So put them in front of all of our events and the corporate events. And last but not least, the key is Jim Rohn say, number four, follow up, follow up, follow up. God, that's so easy. Follow up, follow up, follow up. The money is always in the follow up. See, that concludes tonight's training because leadership is not that difficult. It really is small things doing consistently every single, you've heard it said a zillion times, a zillion times. Follow up, like Mr. King said, that's right, Mr. Winston Herbert, follow up. So as you get new IBOs, guess what? Let me text Mr. Thomas your name. He's going to be excited. He's going to, I, look, I know a lot of you on here will say this. Once I send Mr. Tech, Thomas your name, you're going to get a text within four or five minutes. And then when it happens, they go like, oh, well, that's, that's who we're dealing with. You know, it's amazing. How does that make you, what does that make you feel like in front of your new, what does your new person think about you when you tell them that? Man, I'm in the right organization. Each one of you, when I call your people, I say, you're in the right organization. How do you think that makes them feel? Wow, I made the great decision. And they get a text message from me every day, six days a week. Wow, powerful. Number two. Uh oh, your cousin AC is re Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just saw that come across Mr. Bree Clemens. Let me share a story with you. I had this huge organization in Nashville and uh, Mr. Uh, oh, you're frozen. Okay. His cousin never signed up with him because he never shared it with him. And Lord behold, Mr. Bree Clement signs up on somebody else's team in my organization. See, the point is you got to get quicker and talk to everybody. Don't prejudge. Look at the word prejudice. Slice it in half means prejudge. Don't prejudge anybody because you don't know who they know. And you don't know who, who's going to take you to the next level. So it's important to talk to everybody. So the money's in the follow-up. Number one, text me the name of a number. Number two, get them qualified on the spot in the first 24 hours. 
Number three, get them in front of all of the of our events, let them know about it, and then send them the information out about, you know, here again, you go on Dynasty International, send it to them every day. If they can't go on there and then get them in the habit of getting on there and also promote the ACN corporate events. And last but not least, follow up, follow up, follow up. Those simple four things are going to build you a strong, solid organization because you keep people plugged in. Any questions on the training tonight that I just talked about? Real simple stuff. Real simple. And Jim Rohn says simple. Sometimes things that are simple are easy to do, but then again, they're so hard for other people to do because they just flat out don't do it. So that's how I contributed my success to going through that storm. We saw tonight going through the storm. She got out the car, looked back, and the rest of the cars and trucks that pulled over, they're still in the storm because they stopped. They didn't follow through. Uh huh. They did not text out. Tom. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But you got to get through the storm. And how you get your people through the storm is these simple four steps. And just love on them. Any questions about what I got tonight in training, in leadership? Leadership is not that difficult. And the reason why people will follow you, if you simple, and it can make it duplicatable, watch what happened. Oh, there's Pastor the Collins. We're just talking about you a minute ago. Good evening, young lady. <laughs> See, now she's on fire. You know why? Because you make, you make people feel important. Some of you have, would have more people on your team following you if you made them feel important and love on them. Make them feel worthy. Remember the guy, the guy that's the, the bus driver up in, up in Portland, Oregon? Never got appreciated. Gave him his pen. He was crying. Six foot four big old guy. I started crying. I didn't start crying. We all were crying. Why? Because it pierced his heart. Why? Because nobody ever showed him love. Nobody ever loved on him. So this is a business that, remember now, in our business, we're also psychologists in a sense. We're helping people strengthen their bank account, strengthen them as a person, because so many times in our life, we're, we're told, you can't have this. What do you think you are? You'll never amount. Mom, dad told us, whoever told us that crap. And you know what? Years of that have been embedded in most of the people. We, it doesn't come out overnight. It comes out by loving on them. It comes out by get, uh, getting, them, getting them qualified on the spot in 24 hours getting them in front of the information, and then follow up, follow up, follow up. So with that said, I want to open the lines up to anything you might want to talk about, of what I said about tonight or that, that the video of the storm, because blessing on, on of it, you just got to keep going no matter what. You got to keep persistent. That starting power, and then there's staying power. The staying power gets you through the storm. The starting power is where everybody starts with ACN. I date, you had a start date, everybody has a start date, but the key is stay in power. Matter of fact, there's a song by <laughs> Barry White's got a song called Stay in Power. But anyway, anybody have any comments on what I said tonight? Simple, real simple to the point tonight's training uh, leadership because it's not typical. You incorporate these couple things, watch what happens. You know why Miss Collins got all these Aussies on here? Because she implemented a few things and all of a sudden her numbers went through the roof. And everybody wants to figure out how did she do it? Because she took the information and she started working with it. And I guarantee it happened for every one of you if you do that. So with that said, if those of you got any questions, tomorrow night we'll be back. Miss Pearl Banal will not be our guest speaker tomorrow night. Mr. King and Miss King will be our, our speakers. She had something to come up. But anyway. And then next week, let me give you guys an insight for next week real quickly. Ah, you guys, leadership, so I can do this. Next Monday, Miss Ismail, you'll be getting a flyer on Monday. Yes, you will. Tuesday, Mr. Julian Lewis, guess what? You'll get a flyer on Tuesday. See, I still about keep it. You guys think I'm smart. <laughs> uh, Wednesday, we got Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Martin Ceruto. We're going to play his video. I think his is the best video ever for promote RVP promotion until Miss, until Mr. Nelson came along. But Martin Cerritos is, oh my God, it have you in tears. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to show it first. Uh, Thursday, we have Miss Evelyn Phillips coming in from Fresno. Friday, I, I'm, I'm working. I got a treat for you on Friday. I can't tell you right now. She's got to clear. And uh, that's, our, that's our game plan for next week. And don't forget, 
Uh, Monday, we're going to start our power hour at 6 o'clock. Mr. Bree Clemens, can you post that? Our uh, power hour, I know Mr. I know Mr. Uh, Mr. Lewis has his uh, pre-presentation. Uh, we decided to do a power hour from 6 to 7. And then Tuesday nights and Thursday nights right here, Tuesday and Thursday nights, 6 o'clock, 1 through 10. And then Miss Ismail has one on Wednesday nights. And then everybody knows about happy hour on Friday. So with that said, I want to thank everybody. Okay, I want to thank you. Any questions that anybody have on the simple four steps? Simple, very simple, very light, very simple. All right, with that said, um, hold on a second. Okay, with that said, thank you all for being on the call tonight. We'll see everybody tomorrow night at 6 o'clock p.m. with the Kings, with our training is on Sunday night at 6 o'clock p.m. Leadership is fr Saturday night at 6 p.m. Happy hour is the... <laughs> Friday night at 6 p.m. And I'm having all the regional directors going to help me out with that from here out. So with that said, God bless you guys. Remember, keep it simple, Mr. Herman, uh, Mr. Sherman. You're doing a great job. I like your project, Feeding Kids. Thank you all for being on the call tonight. Mr. Clements, thank you so much. Mr. Thank you all, everybody. God bless. Thank you. Good night.